Thank you so much, Dr. Namita. Is the screen well visible and is I'm yes. audible? Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, my sincere thanks to AIOS and Zeiss for giving me a chance to be with you all today evening to share my experiences with the digital 3D technology as an anterior segment surgeon. Now we all know that the, the stereoscopy is not something new. For the artificial stereoscopy, the concept was invented by Charles Wheatstone in 1838. So almost 170, 80 years old thing. And the fundamental principle is to display an object from one angle to the left eye and to display the same object from a slightly different angle to the right eye. And the viewer's brain fuses the two images to create the stereoscopic effect. It is said that seeing is believing. And as an ophthalmologist, we all believe in that, but seeing more is believing more. And since eye surgery is only through the optical feedback, we don't have much of a tactic, tactile feedback for operating. The quality of the image is likely to affect the performance of the surgeon and finally the outcome of the surgery. There are a lot of advantages which will go through the presentation. Uh, it provides a new dimension of viewing experience to the ophthalmic surgeon and the image digital image processing allows us a greater magnification without loss of resolution it also allows enhanced visualization of the periphery up to the aura serrata with good magnification does it have a learning curve yes it has a little learning curve we'll go through the steps as we move forwards but the increased surgical duration is only for the first few cases. I'll say that from the third, second or third day, you should be back to your same surgical time as you were doing with the optical microscope. Just a brief about the Zeiss RTO 800 system. It's a stereoscopic 3D image on a 55 inch 4K monitor, which provides you a comfortable heads up position. And your, your OR team has a real time stereoscopic view of the surgery. That means everyone in the OT can have the same view as the surgeon is having. When we are looking through an operating microscope and that's what we had been doing throughout our life, it is like a tunnel effect. You just see the small area which is operating and most of our field of view is dark. But when you move on to the 3D system, you escape from the tunnel and it's an entirely different perspective right in front of you at a much higher magnification and you stay connected to the surroundings also. One of the big advantages is that you can operate at low illumination. And the, it is possible to operate at low illumination because the sensitivity of the cameras that are used is much more than that of a human eye. Only 20 to 30% of the illumination intensity as compared to 100% in optical microscope needs to be used in this microscope. It makes it more comfortable for the patient, especially under topical anesthesia. And there are less chances of photic retinal damage in surgeries which have a longer duration. The image on the screen has an excellent contrast, excellent color and beautiful brilliance. And these are adjustable, but once, once the RT was installed and you have set it once, I don't think you need to change it ever again. Another big advantage is the depth of field. And that is what we are interested. We have all worked on the initial microscopes where you have, where, where, where you initially we, like I started on a Zeiss microscope which had a fixed magnification and a fixed focus and no foot control. And starting from there, we realized that we need a foot switch so that you can keep on moving up and down because the field was limited. But in RTO 800, the depth of field is amazing. You need not struggle with the focusing. Once you focus at the beginning of the surgery, you can complete the entire cataract surgery without requiring to adjust the focus again. And it gives excellent stereopsis. And one beautiful thing about the Artivo is that the stereopsis can be recalibrated as per surgeon stereopsis. Uh, the, the cameras have uh, built-in smile uh, alignment so that you can, when the when the RTO is in, installed, uh, you can get it custom to the kind of the stereopsis you are looking at. 
Now, this is very interesting. We all know that as the magnification is increased, the field of view reduces and the depth of field also decreases a lot. Now, that is one point where RTO really scores because it gives you a combination of big field. It gives you a combination of depth of field along with better stereopsis. Now, that is something which you will realize that when you are operating, you are, you are seeing the eye much bigger than what you are used to under the optical microscope. You will see that the depth of the field is much better and you don't have to adjust it during the surgery and the stereopsis is excellent. Less esthetopia is another advantage as the surgeon does not accommodate while viewing through the eyepieces for a long time as 3D system does not require near vision. It does not need the eyepieces to be adjusted for that. And the ease of the working at high magnification is really great. And even if the, even if the microscope setting says 8X or 10X or 12X or 16X, uh, operating at the same microscope magnification through the optical system versus on to the digital 3D monitor, again, is a different experience because you get much more relative magnification as you are operating. You can see there's those fibrils, fibrils dancing at the posterior capsule. And these kind of a magnification and detail I had never experienced with the optical microscope. And this is the magnification at which, which you can go. You can work on that magnification. And it is so interesting to realize that the, the tips of the instruments appear so different under the RTO. This is the sandblasted tip of a biomanual IA, which I never realized that it has a surface like, like this until I started using the RTO. Uh, is there any lag? Because theoretically, you have a camera capturing the image. The, the, the image of the operating eye is not coming directly to your eyes. It's going to the camera. From the camera, it is going to the computer. From the computer, it is being processed. Then it is being displayed onto the monitor, and then it is coming to you. So one may feel that there may be a little lag when you are operating going through this additional system, but there is actually no lag in the display. There is a little lag in the illumination compensation. That is, if the illumination changes, then the system takes a little time to adjust to it. Does it make any difference in the cataract surgery? No, because during our cataract surgery, our field, our magnification, our illumination remains constant throughout the surgery. So it doesn't make any difference of, of this lag in illumination, except in some situations where you have a very highly reflective instrument coming into the field, which gives a greater light. And you may feel the background becoming a little darker for a short time. Changing field illumination sometimes poses issues in retinal surgery, especially when you are working in the periphery. So RTO leads to a complete change in the perspective in which, in a way which you are operating. Now in the learning curve, is there any recalibration of the coordination required? The truth is no, because as an ophthalmologist, we are already using an optical microscope. We are looking like this and operating with our hand down. So this way, there is already our eye hand coordination is already dissociated. So we are looking somewhere else and we are operating somewhere else. So there is already a dissociation between our eye-hand coordination. So it comes quite handy when you are using RTO because all the adjustment that you need to do is here, move your head a little to the side so that you are looking at the monitor, which is placed right aligned to close to the operating microscope. This is the only change that you need to do when you're moving from an optical to a 3D system. So a short learning curve is achieved ability to direct instrument to incision without looking down at the eye. So this, this also will take two or three cases. Within two to three cases, you will be looking at the monitor. You'll be holding the instrument from the assistant, and you will be able to direct the instruments right into the eye without looking where the eye is. So that step didn't take much of a time to learn. Another big advantage is ergonomic advantages. Um, we all know that uh, operating, the surgeons have a higher incidence of their spine problems, backache problems, neck problems, and uh, upper extremity symptoms. And they are seen in almost up to half of the surgeons operating over a number of years. And this is because 
we have the patient, patient side, operating table, and the operating microscope, and we have to look through the binoculars. We are forced to adjust our position and bend forwards to look through the microscope. With the with the Artivo, you are sitting back. You are your head is completely dissociated from the operating microscope. You have a superior back and neck comfort. It's easier to keep your back straight as you can move your head away from the eyepieces and you don't have to lean forward for this. Uh, it is an aggregate of small, small things which make the final impact. When you Before surgery, when you are going to start the surgery, you adjust the stool height. You look at the foot switches, are they comfortable or not? You look at your patient's eye position and you have to adjust your head also to the operating microscope. Now this becomes a little issue. If somehow we could take one component which Artivo takes out, then it completely dissociates your all these things and you can have a position which is comfortable and you're straight back. And it is a hybrid mode. Like, like in beginning, if you, I didn't have that issue at any stage to shift from the, the, the digital to the optical mode. Uh, right from my first case, I have been doing all the cases onto the 3D only, but it has an optical mode. There is a small switch. You just flip the switch and it changes from the digital to the optical microscope. Now, I, I think that is a huge advantage. If there is some something is there or some situation where you, you want to go to the optical, it is just at the flip of a knob that you can go through. Another advantage of this system is, is if there are multiple surgeons operating in the same room, which is always there in the organizations, there is no need for IPD setting. Otherwise, every time you sit on a on an optical microscope, you will adjust your IPD. Then you will adjust the refractive error to your thing. You will adjust the eyepieces for refractive error. Uh, if you are wearing glasses, you will go to the high eye point setting on the eyepieces by screwing them out. And there is no need to adjust the inclination of the binocular. So, so a shifting between the surgeons is seamless kind of a thing with nobody has to make any adjustment for that. For that. And that becomes uh, uh, excellent in the training also because when you're training the resident, there will be many situations where trainer may have to intervene and the, the trainee has to get out of the so get out of the stool and surgeon has to take over. Now in that situation, the switchover is so quick because the surgeon is already viewing the same view. He has to just sit on the stool and continue with the, the steps of the surgery. The training is not limited to one resident at a time. So if you have 10 residents at, in the OT, each one is getting trained at that time. And it is far more comfortable for the assistant, enabling them to pay better attention to the surgical step. It's very important in, in, um, in vit as an assistant, if you are assisting in vitrectomy, you have to bring down the lenses in position. So it becomes very easy for the assistant to get the things quickly and accurately and precise in focus for the surgeon. And advantage of uh, stereoscopic videos to improve the understanding of the surgical steps and enhance the learning of the new residents. Uh, there is excellence of reviewing of the surgeries because stereoscopic view improves understanding of instrument handling for the residents. Uh, we found that uh, after moving on to Artivo, the incidence of complications by the trainees has come down and these trainees are who have done just three, four cataract surgeries before they come to us. We are, we are party to the, we are part of the resident training program for Northwestern University. So it definitely has, has a tremendous effect on the training. And these are the reasons which I've already mentioned. Uh, this is, we went through our data because we have the actual surgical time data for all the cases for many years, and we found no statically significant difference in cases operated on Artivo or operated earlier on the digital microscope. Uh, this has the few views from the OT. This is, this is, the, res, this is the trainee operating. Again, it's uh, very comfortable. They don't take much time to, to move onto the system. You stay connected to the surroundings. Uh, this is a tragium surgery. This is how it is recorded. The stereo surgery is actually recorded like this. And when you display it on the 3D system, the, the, the monitor combines these two images into a 3D image. 
and it does have uh, this we is have a view from one of our consultant Dr. Dr. Manasi our TV surgical visualization system at our institute for the past few months now uh, what I would say is the learning curve is quite short and we were able to adapt after just a few cases on the machine. In terms of average duration of the surgery, it didn't differ significantly from that performed on the standard operating microscope and had minimal intraoperative complication owing to the excellent depth perception, uh, better screen parameter control, wherein one can change color, contrast, brightness, uh, gain and hue and even regulate the white balance which helps enhance the surgical performance. The surgeon also to maintain a comfortable stable position and carry out surgical prolonged procedures uh, reducing the musculoskeletal fatigue and strain which may have compounding effect over the years and certainly improved ergonomics and it also helps as an improved tool for teaching of intraoperative surgical procedures your assistant can also see better hence um, assist better and overall it's an evolving technology that is relatively easy to shift on to and you can manage most of your uh, vitroretinal procedures using this uh, so there are additional digital operating tools which is the cloud system and uh, the the use for the use of the toric the callisto on this is a much better and more accurate system than our experience with the with the older system and i'll not be going in detail because we have a talk on this later on in the session today uh, so improvement over the time are there some things which i would like to i would wish to have in that in the future uh, better and faster auto iris control improved software calibration for the for the images maybe built-in thermal cameras, maybe fluid flow highlights, uh, maybe posterior capsule analysis, or maybe intraoperative warnings using AI or a die-free capsular staining by using different wavelength of light. So there, there's a lot of potential and the directions in which uh, our surgery may change over a period of time once some of these things are taken up by Zeiss. If you are going in for the RTVO 800, are there any changes that you need to make in the OT or anything you to be need to aware of. Yes, you have to modify the OT setup. And the main difference is that you need to make a space to put that 55 inch monitor trolley. Uh, you need to upgrade your recording system and storage solutions because the 4K stereo 4K recording takes a huge speed, huge space. So you need to have a faster system of uh, downloading the files and a fast and a huge space to store all your surgeries. And you need prescription 3D glasses if you are a myop. So that, that is again something very important that when you order RTO, please get your prescription 3D glasses. Training of the OT staff is not much of an issue. Uh, involvement of the OT staff definitely improves. Uh, the assistant is really much in a much better position to help you out in the surgery. All, all can see what you see. That, that's another thing. And the best is you don't feel that you are operating. I had been using, uh, because of my backache problem, I had been using a belt during surgery for all the years, but within two months after changing to Artivo, now that is just hanging in the, uh, in, the doc, in the changing room in the OT. I haven't used it now for almost a year and a half or two years. So the days of only the surgeon enjoying the surgery in the OT are over. Everybody is enjoying now the surgeries. And one confession at the end before I finish my talk, I'm very possessive of two things in my life. First is my Porsche Carrera 911 and my RTO 800, both ultimate player. Thank you so much.